Just look at all these stars. I just am so amazed by them. I would love to be somewhere where I could look up into the night sky and see so many galaxies just stretching out in front of me. I mean, I know logically, puppers, that even during the daytime, all of this is overhead, just hidden by the light of our own sun and the blue of our own ozone. But look at this. You know, I used to think growing up that it was so sad that the whole globe existed in my classroom. I really did. I, I thought, oh, there's nowhere left to explore in the world. And not only is that completely untrue, because the world is organic and ever-changing, and you don't know how a forest that somebody wrote about 50 years ago, or even last year, will have completely changed, and, and how it'll still be new to you and it's worth walking through. But I really did get very sad when I was a kid, because I thought there's nowhere else to adventure and just see something that someone has never seen before. But you know, even if I'm not going to be able to go out there and adventure into the stars and see whole new worlds myself, the thing is, the possibilities still exist. And I guess I'm happy enough just to know that of course there's endless adventure. Every one of those stars is a place that might have planets around it, moons, mysteries of its own. And even if I'll never get there, I really, really hope, right to the bottom of my heart, that some little part of humanity one day will. Hmm. All right, but what do you guys think about that for some stories before we go ahead and chow down on the food we've got? But all right. Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Red Lantern, where we're still celebrating the fact that Slayer, right over here... I take this mitten off, but I fear frostbite. <laughs> Our good girl Slayer has actually been able to go ahead and face her fear with the elk, because she is a strong, independent woman, as we learned, <laughs> who doesn't need no elk scaring her around the place. And now that we helped her, she actually came to our side when we were being intimidated, so we say, by an elk and managed to chase it off. Good girl! I'm so proud of her! And we've also been able to do a little bit more exploring, um, you know, since the last time that you guys saw us. And I managed to pick up a bullet and actually Noodle! Good boy, Noodle! Hi, Noodle. Oh, you're so cute. But Noodle, he was actually able to guide us to where there was a frozen deer. So we're feeling more exciting. Yeah, okay. Let's just get some scratches in. Oh, right. he's cute. I'm just here to pet you. I would cuddle him. I would absolutely cuddle him. But Noodle actually guided us to a frozen deer, so we were able to get a whole bunch of food. Let's go ahead and chow down, and then we're going to actually hit the trail and see what other adventures we can stumble on as we continue working our way towards the cabin. So far, we've let the dogs lead us the entire way, and I think that's been pretty successful. We'll just follow their wild instincts and see if we can stumble on any more of the tools that, you know, roleplay-wise, we're saying we lost in the forest on a very chaotic run. Right now, we only have the axe and the fire starter, but it would be really nice to do a little bit more fishing or find the gun cleaner again. We've only ever found that once. Also, I want you guys to start thinking, what group should we go ahead and have with our sled dogs? We already have discovered every single one of their stories, and I'm really excited and proud about that. But, you know, that doesn't mean that we have discovered all of the things that the dogs can actually do out in this Alaskan wilderness. We really need to try mixing together new groups of dogs and seeing if that manages to bring some new events to the front. So if you guys could, do start thinking about what kind of dogs we should mix together. I've heard that if we actually leave good boy Bodega... Hey, buddy! Pets, pets, pets! Oh, he's really such a scruffy cute dog, isn't he? But if we leave good boy Bodega behind then it, and just take Chomper and Iggy, then apparently something very interesting happens if we find a badger. And then we actually see a cute little event between Chomper and Iggy. And that's just one of dozens of different events that can happen, depending on what kind of dogs you have, how many resources you have, what animals you happen to run across. And of course, every single event that we run into, we might have done it dozens of times before, but there's always a chance that potentially something new could happen. Just look at the owl, right? So, okay, that's going to be our big mission coming up. If we manage to finish this run, then I'm going to need your guys' help at deciding who we should take on the next run. Give me your suggestions, maybe a few little hints of different dog groups we could try, and then together, well, you know, I guess we'll discover all of the mysteries together. But all right, let's go ahead. I'm going to get something to, to eat. Some food. 
There we go. Let's see, two for me, two for the dogs, and I think that should get us fairly far. Maybe, yeah. Uh, I wish we had the booty so that they would be able to eat more. Food time. Chow down, pups. All right, guys. I'll give you what I got, but we're going to keep one to maybe throw at a bear's head if we need to. And then, if you could, I need you guys to lead me to even more food, okay? All right, let's go ahead and hit the trail. Get back on the trail. I think we're done here. Let's go. All right, good job, guys. <laughs> Come on, Bodega. You can't roll around on the ice forever. Let's continue this wild run and see where they take us. So far, I feel like their instincts have been really on point. Let's see. All right, think fishing rod or especially dog booties, guys. Also, I will take a creepy good abandoned work. cabin. All right, let's go ahead and see who's going to lead now. Are we going to go further south or further north? It's all up to whichever dog decides. Slayer! Slayer actually picked. All right, it looks like she's taking us to the north. Good girl, Slayer. I'm really happy to see that your confidence is starting to come through. Oh? Noodle, are you trying to bring it closer or keep it away? How <gasps> close do you think that wolf is? Oh, we need to check it out, Noodle. We found the wolf again. Oh, you just wanted to help. Okay, uh, should I ask if the wolf is going to hurt us? I don't know. Look, this is this is one of those things where I absolutely have to free the wolf every time. Okay, okay. Come on, um... Vale. This actually reminds me, we do need to go ahead and do more of our random pets laboratory challenges. Where we see where Noodle and this wolf's descendants grow and become their own pack. Easy there, easy there. I'm glad you brought us out here, Noodle. I hope that wolf makes it. Poor thing. Thanks for holding down the sled, pups. Good job, Noodle. All right, let's mush on. And good job, Slayer. I wonder if Slayer actually also heard it and now that she's feeling more confident, wanted to help. And the fact that, you know, for the roleplay of it, we've run into a wolf trapped many times. I'm gonna go ahead and say that this area, once upon a time, used to be covered with illegal trappers and illegal traps. Uh oh. Here we go, guys. Maybe that's why this bear is so aggressive. Just move along. We'd like to come through here. <sighs> Whoa, bear pups. territory. Just stay right there. All right, all right, we've got this. It'd be really cool if the wolf could just jump out of nowhere right now and chase this guy off. All right, let's go ahead and distract him. Hey, bear! Easy, pups. We've got this. We know what to do. Iggy. Hungry? This is why we we had the sacrificial tithe oh, of a treat. You, you are hungry. Okay, um, this is all yours. I'm just going to place it over here. Ah! There we go. Oh, go, go. That's only going to last one bite, pups. Come on, guys. Come on. Go, pups. <sighs> okay, okay. Come on. Seriously. Guys, now is not the time for tummy scratches. <laughs> Keep running. <laughs> ah, not into a tree. <laughs> All right. Whew. I had a feeling that was coming. All right. Well, maybe we freed the wolf just in time. I mean, I imagine that bear would have had an easy meal otherwise. Mm, the struggle between the predators. Good boy, the Chomper. Was the best racer, but there sure we go. She, but she kept, and she didn't know. But she knew. We should really so write to Margo. Him. I feel like I feel like she would be very excited to know that we've really made a home out here. More food. Oh, we got it! Yes. We're out of bullets. All right, let's mush on. Hey, but Slayer's gonna enjoy her meal. That's really important for us. All right, onward, Slayer. Closer. All right, these guys have really been picking some good runs this time. I think we're actually gonna be able to get to the cabin. That's fantastic. And Slayer has picked where to go. Oh, that feels so, so wonderful for her wild run. I mean, she's gained her confidence and now she gets to snack on some what elk. Do smell? Oh, what do they smell? Okay, let's go ahead and follow it. Okay. So oh, look, it's the wolf again. All right, look, we're gonna go ahead. What if I try to go get it, actually? I've never tried to get it before. 
I think that the wolf would definitely show up, but I'm I'm really curious. Would we get attacked? Uh yeah. And we shouldn't let it go to waste. Sometimes you need luck. It seems pretty quiet. Alright, what happens if I do this? We do want to explore all the options after all. I shouldn't press my luck more than I already have. Let's collect the meat and get back to the sled. <gasps> I actually managed to get some of it! Hey, look what I found! Hey, we some can say food. that it was from Noodle's friend! Awesome! Let's be safe out there. All right, no more risks, guys. I am out of bullets. And all of you seemed pretty chill. All right, I think we're gonna make it home. Oh, let's go let's ahead and feed the puppies. Oh, is that... Are you kidding me? Feel free to stay over there. We don't mind. It's... This is exactly what's supposed to happen no when you to. don't no have Bodega. We have him with us, and then something will happen between Iggy and Chomper. All right, let's go ahead. Let's try running away. Come on, pups, let's go. Ah, I couldn't make it. need to tempt it. fate or wolverines today. Hey. Hey, hey back stay off. Back. Why did I try to negotiate with a predator? Squirrels only. Maybe a bunny. Only things with less teeth. Okay, okay. Fine. Oh! It's okay, Bodega. We can find more food. Apparently, Iggy might take over if Bodega's not here. This is why we need to go on even more runs. Look at him go! Good boy, Bodega! You're messing with your food, do you, boy? But this will make it much easier to get home. Good boy. Let's give him a treat. He's earned it. Here you go, buddy. If there's a meal to be had, you can conquer everything. Your destiny is driven by your stomach. <laughs> Good boy, Bodega. I'm back. Let's get back out there. All right, let's do this. Come on, pups. Should we camp? Mm, should we camp? You know what? I think we can actually make it. I'm really hungry. I think we're getting there. Let's try going just at least one more, one more little, little run. I think we're almost there, guys. Which dog is going to pick the way? Noodle! Good boy, Noodle! Oh, it's that musk ox again. Are you kidding me? Okay, you leave me alone. Just leave me alone. We're all friends here. Shh. I've heard bad things about these guys. Okay, we're going to go ahead. Should we check it out or on by? We're going to go on by because I'm starving. Ah. Next time, I would really love to actually spend some time, like, trying to chase them. Let's look for a good spot to camp. The pups are way tired, so we'll go ahead and feed them, even though we're almost there. In fact, I think this may be the there. Should oh. we camp? <laughs> Alright, I think we need to, like, just What's barely to top off of. the food. Alright, come on, guys. Food time. Chow down, pups. We're almost home. Here, you guys can have a ton of this. In fact, you can have all of this. And I'll make one for myself. And then I think right Fire over the next bridge nice. is home. Oh, I can't wait to feel the... There we go. I'm ready to cook some food. There we go. Nice! You know, finding the fire starter, making sure we have the axe, Slayer really finding confidence in herself, and just chowing down on a ton of the elk that she managed to get. Good girl. Maybe a bit of a massage. Keep you loose for the trail. And then, of course, Bodega chasing off another wolverine, which just cracks me up. You're a good pup, Bodega. You've been a great help. Yeah, okay. I'll get back to sorting dinner. Okay, <laughs> but just a few more pets. Yeah, there you go, buddy. Oh, he really is just a big sweetheart. All right, and Chomps, you are too. I feel like I haven't pet you in a long time. You're really there, Chomps. You've really come into your own as a leader. And you've stuck by me through everything. I can't thank you enough, buddy. Though I would appreciate it if you stopped chewing through the gang line constantly. 
It's a lot of work to put you all back into position. Okay, fine, you're right. I did need their help. You're always looking out for us. And of course, Chomps is such a good boy too. Ah, <sighs> all right. Get back on the trail. Let's get back out there. Let's do this. We've almost finished this run too. All right, pups. I hope you guys are all feeling great, glorious. And I think right there. I know the map isn't great, but we should be almost there. It's just a little further, Chomper. Wait, is that? <laughs> Literally like two steps later. That's awesome. And we're home, guys. Make it? We made I it. We knew all we had to do was move our feet. If we were meant to find this place, we would. Slayer did a great job. I'm really proud we managed we had to reach to this. We'd find our way. Mm, in the daytime and with Slayer. And now, her red lantern hangs for us, calling us to our new home. As many times as we've made it now, it really does feel like we're coming home. All right. We're going to have to decide. I will put up a poll in our community chats area, guys, on the community tab. Oh, look at Iggy all curled up. The day is sitting so proudly. Welcome home. Where's Noodle? Probably curled up sleeping somewhere. But all right, I'm gonna go ahead and we'll check out what's in the journal, but I am going to put a community poll up, guys. Should we keep racing with this group and perhaps see the unexpected? Especially because Noodle will always invite that wolf into uh, the territory. Or should we go ahead and race with some of the other dogs? Like putting Bodega to the side, not because we don't love him, but because apparently if we run into that Wolverine with Chomper and Iggy, then a very cute little scene might happen if Bodega's not there. And then we'll have to we'll have to think through like where to go, how to travel. This was so amazing because we know all of the dog's stories now, but that doesn't mean we know everything that might happen out there in the Alaskan wilderness. Let me know what you guys think. And let's check out the journal real quick. Here we go. The cabin really is nestled between the rocks. The cutest snoop boop on the bears. I'm going to have to get used to that elk shriek. The wolverine, I'd like to avoid fighting wolverines. Their claws and furry. Their claws and fury. And now that we're paying attention to more things and excited by the small things, fingers crossed. Oh, hey! Wait, wait a second. Is it, is it not the end of Slayer's story? Look, we have Iggy and we have Bodega, but we don't have Slayer's story. I thought for sure that Slayer and Noodle would have shown up by now, but they haven't on this one. We, we have figured out Noodle's story elsewhere, but Slayer's picture isn't here. Wait, does that mean even though she faced her fear, we haven't figured out like what Slayer's specific little story is? Oh, you guys, wow. If you guys have run with Slayer before, let me know. I guess there's a lot more we need to learn about her. So I guess her story isn't over yet. Well, all right. I mean, it'll be really great to vote eventually on what kind of dog team we'll put together. But for now, it seems that Slayer's story is not over. So if you guys have any hints or tips or advice on what you think we should do with her to try to figure out exactly what's going on, let me know. Maybe I shouldn't have shot that elk. Maybe I should have just inspected it while she watched it. And we'll try to get the shyest and most secretive of our sled dog stories out next time. So all right, guys, if you could, do please leave a like for Slayer. At least she faced her fear. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.